Hello guys, it's King Dub the Seventh bringing you more destiny and more conversation. So for today's conversation, it has been, uh, I guess you could say it's been confirmed that two new characters will be added to the Super Smash Brothers game. Those two characters are Rory, who's already been on Smash Brothers. He was a uh, uh, character from a game called Fire Emblem made by Nintendo, which was a I guess it was a art. No, it wasn't. A, what could you call Fire Emblem? A tactical game? I don't know what to call Fire Emblem. It was a pretty fun game. It was pretty hard. I like Fire Emblem. I wasn't pretty really good at it at all. Uh, then you have a game that I also wasn't good at. Street Fighter. Uh, Ryu from Street Fighter will be joining Super Smash Bros. Uh. So what do you guys think about that? Because I think Roy makes sense, but Ryu is kind of weird. So for those of you who do not know what Street Fighter is, Street Fighter is a fighting game. Ryu is the main character or protagonist of that fighting game. And look at this guy not doing anything. He gets no mercy. Uh, so Ryu is the main character of that fighting game. And... They decided to just throw him in Smash Brothers. I'm sitting here like, what the hell? I just got shotgunned in the face. But that has nothing to do with this conversation. I'm sitting here like, what the hell? What does he have to do with anything Nintendo? So I guess what this is a signal of is Nintendo doesn't give a damn who they put on their Smash Brothers games anymore. They just want the game to be fun and great. Because before Nintendo was very, very strict about who they put on their video games. I believe how it went was the character had to have a game that was a Nintendo, uh, it had to be only for Nintendo that, that's part of for some reason escaping my head. Uh, they had to have a game that was only for Nintendo at some point. And I think that was it. And they had to be popular, of course. But I don't know if you could call it Ness popular. I don't think Earthbound or Mother were popular games. But whatever, I had nothing to do with anything. But you had to have a game that was only for Nintendo. And you had to be popular. But recently, I guess they've been going away from that. Well, I guess you couldn't say recently. I guess you could just say this year with the addition of Ryu. Alright, yeah, I guess Sonic 2. And Mega Man. Yeah. Heavy ammo available. That. They've been going away from that. Why? I think they're just starting to. I guess it's a sign that Nintendo's starting to loosen up and they just want to make good games and fun games for people. Instead of, uh, being so prideful with their games and so stubborn with their game formula. I mean, I don't think they're stubborn or prideful. These are things that other people will tell you. Uh, but yeah. So this leads to the question, since they're starting to end that, what the fuck, that rocket is so useless. Look at that Gallowhorn just fucking up two people. So this leads to the question, what the hell, this leads to the question, who do you guys want to be on the new Smash Brothers next? Because if Nintendo's gonna start putting anybody on their game, there is an endless possibility of characters that will end up being on this game. You could have characters like Ratchet or Clank or Jack and Dexter. These are characters from Ratchet and Clank and Jack and Dexter. I was a, I don't know, what the hell, I would think. But yeah, who would you want to see on these games next? Me personally, I think a character who they could put on the game and that would make a lot of sense would be Beautiful Joe from the game Beautiful Joe. 
If anyone doesn't know what Beautiful Joe was, it was a pretty old game for the GameCube. It was only for the GameCube. Where some guy who's like uh, very interested in movies wanted to be like a movie star or whatever, a movie hero. I don't really remember the exact story. It's been a long time. But yeah, so he came up with that live Beautiful Joe. And he went around beating the hell out of a lot of super villains. And yeah. So I think Beautiful Joe would make a lot of sense because he was a very original character in one sense that there he had a very original story, he was a very original character in Nintendo, in the world of Nintendo. There aren't many characters like him, so he wouldn't be a carbon copy of anybody. Like you, he, like a Ganondorf to a Captain Falcon. I don't know how the hell they made Ganondorf a copy of Captain Falcon. Anyway. But, yeah, he, you wouldn't have to make him a copy of anybody. He'd have his own moveset, his own original movements. And he'd just be an awesome character. He's pretty popular. I'm pretty sure a good amount of people knew about Beautiful Joe and loved playing Beautiful Joe. Uh, another character that would make sense, uh, Banjo Kazooie. I feel like could make a lot of sense. Uh, Conquer. Uh, the squirrel thing. I don't really know. I guess you could have Rayman from Rayman Legends, which is a which is a very popular game right now. Uh, a I haven't played it yet, but I heard it was a very good game. I haven't heard anything negative from it. But there are a lot of different characters who could be added to the Super Smash Bros. franchise. And the addition of Ryu opens that up tremendously. I guess since Mega Man and Ryu were both Capcom, the biggest sense would be for another Capcom character to make his addition on to the game. But I'd love to see here what you guys think uh, on who would be great characters to add to Super Smash Brothers. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I uh, hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And have a great day. Peace. Oh, look at this. Speaking of new characters who likes Master Chief wants to get his ass kicked. Let's go.